So you guys know about the debt ceiling standoff, which has been happening with uh, Democrats and Republicans. And Biden had taken a public stance of like, I'm not going to negotiate with these people. No, piss off. Now, that was the right stance. However, he was lying. As he was saying that publicly behind the scenes, he was negotiating with Republicans. Now, thankfully, Medicare and Social Security cuts are off the table. Why? Because Trump made it clear that nobody should cut these programs and no Republicans should cut these programs. And Biden also agreed with them. So those are off the table. But Republicans are basically asking for every other cut under the sun. They want work requirements tied into like SNAP, which is the food stamp program. They want to cut every other social safety net program that we have. And they want to do it substantially, by the way. Um, so Biden is still entertaining that conversation. Now, in the context of the media talking about the debt ceiling, they have done an abysmal job. They've left out crucial facts, which would really help put things into perspective for your average normie American who might not know the most about this and is barely trying to follow along. So one of the things is, as you all know, the debt ceiling is, it's arbitrary. This is about the money we've already spent. The question is, are we going to basically be good on the money that we owe? That's the question. So when you frame it like that, it's like, will you just pay your debts? Well, then everybody's like, of course we should pay our debts. When you frame it as, we have this debt ceiling, should we cross it? People are like, no, definitely not. Should we cross it without doing spending cuts? People are like, no. Because when you phrase it in a way that doesn't give all the context, people don't know the way this stuff really works, right? And so Media Matters did a great breakdown here. They went through all the articles talking about the debt ceiling. And it shows you just how piss poor the coverage is and all the context they leave out. So look at this. Just six articles which is 8% of the articles on this topic, mentioned that Republicans increased the current national debt significantly through their own tax and spending decisions or mentioned that Republicans ran high annual budget deficits during the Trump administration. Six articles, 8% of the articles referenced that the Republicans have a recent track record of massively jacking up the debt and the deficit. Just 15 articles or 19% mentioned that Republicans routinely raised or suspended the debt ceiling during the Trump administration, or that Democrats supported the, those efforts. In other words, we've already done this a million times. Because again, the debt ceiling is arbitrary. And Republicans did it too, no questions asked. It wasn't a big deal. They just did it because they know it's the right thing to do. They know it's the only thing we can do to avoid a Great Recession or depression and a massive economic calamity as a result of it. They just did it. But only 19% of articles mentioned that this is... They raised it a million times. They just raised it a whole bunch of times. Just 15 articles or 19% correctly mentioned that Republicans are responsible for the looming debt ceiling crisis due to their own intransigence and brinks brinksmanship. I don't know why I can't talk. Brinksmanship. So in other words, Democrats are fine with a clean bill. Like, let's just lift it and get it over with. It's Republicans who are demanding, no, no, no. We want to cut programs for working people. That's the point that they're making. Now, to be fair... Democrats could have done this when they held the House and the Senate and the White House, which they just did before this last election. They could have done it themselves. Bernie said, hey, let's do this so we don't have a problem down the road. And Biden didn't do it. And the other Democrats yawned and didn't care. Well, great. Look where we are now. Just under half the articles, 46%, mentioned draconian cuts to federal spending being proposed by Republicans in exchange for a debt ceiling increase. That is unforgivable. So that means you're not even explaining the Republican position. Less than half of the articles are explaining that Republicans want cuts to programs for working people. How can you talk about the debt ceiling without bringing that up? That is like the main point. And they say uh, a majority, 49 articles or 63%, suggested that Republican Republicans plan to default on U.S. sovereign debt obligations if the GOP's demands for substantial spending cuts and budget changes are not met. So look, this just goes to show you the media is doing a terrible job giving you all the facts around this. And you wouldn't be that educated on what's going on if you just go by what the current articles are saying. You would need to have, you need to be familiar with the history of the various debt ceiling fights and non-fights to know how this works. It's honestly unforgivable. When, you know, you have to come to a loudmouth idiot YouTuber like me to get basic information on this current struggle, which is so important that the full faith and credit of the United States is on the line. Again, unforgivable. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now.
you know you want to.